Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We are locked and loaded today. We've got Bob Chapman joining us. Hadn't been on with us in two weeks to break down all the huge economic and geopolitical developments. Always one of our favorite analysts. We've got Gerald Salente joining us today as well. So we have a uh, big transmission lined up for you on this Friday, the 13th, 2012 transmission. Up on the Drudge Report, you can see uh, Brandon Tuberville's excellent article from Infowars.com. Cashless Society, India implements first biometric ID program for all of its 1.2 billion residents. We're going to be going over some of that today. Uh, we've got incredible U.S. news, world news, financial news. But it is Friday, and I've pledged in the new year to get to more of your phone calls. And I tell you, I've been taking a lot more. We've been kind of actually getting towards our goal a little bit, which is hard for me to do. I, I tend to get kind of set in my ways. I listened to my show from like 14 years ago, and I pretty much just took calls. And pretty entertaining, pretty informative. Uh, I mean, our goal is not to be entertaining, but reality is entertaining. Nothing like reality. Uh, the toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. We're going to open the phones up right now, 800-259-9231. And we've got a lot of key news here today. South Carolina, Ron Paul surges past Santorum into top tier. Neocon choice, Mitt Romney by Kurt Nemo. I don't think it's a conflict of interest that Bain Capital is the majority owner of Clear Channel. And I don't hear Limbaugh or others criticizing Mitt Romney when they normally would. I mean, he's for abortion, carbon taxes, uh, open borders, uh, a road Obamacare. And people send me emails saying, oh, well, he's against abortion now. Well, yet now he says he is. But when it comes to actually votes and support, he wasn't. And I hear, well, he's against open borders now. That's a ruse to get the conservative vote. He's just like all the other mainline rhinos. He's for open borders, just like Newt Gingrich. And uh, now Rick Perry's being attacked by Sean Hannity, Limbaugh, and others. We have an article out about it today. I don't like Rick Perry. Let's get that straight. He's a globalist, too. Calling him, in fact, I have the clip up on InfoWars. Uh, Limbaugh's calling uh, Rick Perry like Fidel Castro. He's a commie now for criticizing vain capital. See, you can't ever criticize hedge funds and corrupt things they do because that's free market. Oh, really getting big banker bailouts like Goldman Sachs and others did? That's that's uh, capitalism. You never hear these neocon talk show hosts explain there's crony capitalism that is the antithesis of a true free market society. And it's that juncture of government with that that's causing the destruction of our society. And it's the mega banks that always launder and even administer the welfare systems and the phone banks and the rest of it to get the general welfare class on chicken feed to make them dependent so they can always sick the giant mass of, you know, 100 million or more welfare recipients on those of us that work. It's real simple. The ultra rich with a bunch of paid off, just like the Romans did 2000 plus years ago. They had most of the city of Rome on the dole. A few little Roman uh, silver pieces a month for every head of the household and as much bread as you can eat. And nobody's going to rebel against the government. And, and, and by the end of the Roman Empire, they would even, first they made the poor people, then the wealthy, then the ultra-rich. You had to make your wives and daughters be whores at temples so that they could pay more taxes. There was never enough taxes. By the way, I saw two articles. I saw one in Der Spiegel. And Reuters last week, we, uh, uh, and I meant to cover this at the time, and I didn't. Guys, type into the search engine. People won't believe that. Um, woman ordered to take job as prostitute or lose unemployment payments in Germany. <laughs> so we're right back to Rome. All right, it's all coming up today. <laughs> I mean, you get in that whorehouse and service 10 men a day, or you're, you're not going to get paid your welfare check. Did you ever... 
Welcome, my friends, to another worldwide transmission in an attempt to wake up humanity to the perils of tyranny. We are going to be here uh, for the next three hours, and I will be back live this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. The websites are prisonplanet.tv, prisonplanet.com, and infowars.com. The one, the only, always informative, Gerald Salente, will be joining us coming up in the second hour today, and always our Friday guest, Bob Chapman, who wasn't with us last Friday, so he's got a lot to talk about. We've got world news. We've got the Middle East uh, just ratcheting up towards World War III, the hot war expanding. Uh, now the corporate dinosaur press is now admitting what we already knew. The war is already going on inside Iran. And we got big news on the economy and a lot more uh, today. And I do want to take your phone calls as well. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. On any issue, any news item, any question, any comment, uh, disagree, agree, love me, hate me, it doesn't matter. We don't screen your calls. We just ask where you're calling from and what your name is. And if you want to volunteer higher listing, that makes it interesting. Oh, shortwave. Oh, XM. Oh, AM, FM. Oh, Internet. Ruku, whatever the case is. And Robert, Chuck, Charles, Ezekiel, Pat, and others we're going to get to here in a moment because I want to sh kind of shake the show up a bit, kind of go to calls early, and then burrow into news. First, the National Defense Authorization Act, now the Enemy Expatriation Act. And we've been covering this for a few weeks, but I want to break down what the government's going to do. They're just going to say outside of a court, well, you're no longer a citizen, so we can disappear you into a black hole. But they've already got it on paper that they can kill citizens and disappear you into a spider hole, into a devil dungeon. So why are they doing this? Because they don't want to do that up front, even though they claim they have this illegal, unconstitutional power. They want to finagle it and uh, you know, give it some cheap packaging and cover, with some cheap uh camouflage that, well, we waved a magical wand, and so you're no longer a citizen and can be renditioned off to some torture center. So we're going to be breaking that down. Systematic silence about NDAA proves long plot to destroy America is real. Vindicating conspiracy theorists, we're going to be going over uh, that report. Uh, also, uh, CNET News, a division of CBS Interactive, DHS x-ray scanners could cause cancer. Oh, but that's only for border crossers. Then uh, You can't body scan them, but you will body scan the citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had radiologists, we've had scientists on for the last decade or so, breaking down that they have people at the U.S. border, at the north and the south, and now at domestic checkpoints inside the United States, who drive through these x-ray machines. Now, now, previous to this, a decade or so ago, they had you get out. They, they had the, the Border Patrol people and technicians behind armored plate, by armored you know, lead that blocks out the x-rays. They'd have the people get behind it with them in a, in a holding room or off to the side, and then they would roll the car up over the conveyor belt and x-ray it. Well, just like prior to 1990, the military was not allowed to use depleted uranium weapons because they knew since the 50s it was deadly in the studies they'd done. They had the weapons in case nuclear war already broke out. Troops are fighting 10 to 1 superiority at the uh, at Folger Gap. If the Russians rolled across into Germany during the Cold War, it was an emergency weapon in emergency uh, armories. 1990 came around, they said, go ahead and use it. Just don't have the troops get close to tanks they've shot up with it. Not telling you that when you fire it out of a Abrams gun or out of a um, Marine Corps warrior vehicle or out of a Bradley fighting vehicle that it's igniting in the barrel and that you're getting a deadly dose as well. Sure, it'll kill you 20 years later on average, a horrible death, kidneys failing, tumors everywhere, lung cancer. But so what? It's a gift from the New World Order. And uh, it's the same thing here. Up until about a decade ago, the Border Patrol and others always got behind the, the ray shielding. <laughs> Not now. In fact, 
In fact, guys, now that I thought about this, I'm going to do an assignment on air, part of our total transparency program. Try to get me Watson, our our, our star writer. We've already got a lot of uh, Kurt's right there, Steve, Aaron, but Paul is the is the uh, Grand Slam winner. I mean, he's the Triple Crown winner. Get me Watson online, please. Just uh, to dial. It seems like the number you calls is home. The way he doesn't answer. I call the cell. That's why I can always get him. Uh, if you want it, it's the it's the first British number. Or uh, you're just calling Skype, see if he answers that. Okay, I don't think that, that that if he's not at his computer, he won't see that. But okay. But the point is, is we need to get Watson to uh, write an article on this and and get the Fox News piece out of New York and a CBS News piece we've got out of Florida and past articles we did where it shows the army, the army under TSA in all three newscasts with giant mobile x-rays having families drive under it, not just people at the border. And the army soldiers under TSA control, one of these is like four years old, the first one I saw out of... Uh, out of New York, Fox News, standing under the radiation machine. Standing under the radiation machine. And, and of course, it's bad for the family. This is shooting through steel, through aluminum. And you can see the newscast where it shows people hidden in trunks and things or, 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 or guns as an example. You can see their bodies. It's shooting through. A lot more powerful than something that shoots through your chest. You know how bad a chest x-ray is. But the real people being barbecued, barbecued, are the Border Patrol, are the TSA, are the military people. But I'm in Vegas a few months ago coming back from an interview with Jesse Ventura. And the guy goes, I know who you are. You're opting out. I'm going to have to grope you, basically. And I get, and I say, you know, that's deadly radiation. He says, no, it's not, Alex. They've given us the documents. It's one one billionth of a cell phone call. And I said, really, what are those measured in? That's a different type of wavelength. He goes, oh, whatever. You just believe what you want. He's like, John Hopkins says it's not bad. And I said, really? I saw that report a few months ago, earlier in the year. Uh, did you know the head of John Hopkins radiology came out and said that there never was a study done with Homeland Security and that the study they did do said it does cause cancer? And he goes, whatever, whatever. The other TSA guys were looking at me like, uh, like kind of warily. So I give this big speech about how they're all being fried. And I told him, I'm going to sue you if you touch, even through the pants, my genitals. And he didn't do it. He said this stupid pat down. And obviously, he knew who I was, syndicated radio host, no criminal record. He's telling me he knows who I am. He goes through this. It's about you know 8 a.m. I've got about three hours sleep. Um, and I'm wanting to get home to my family. And plus, I kind of wanted to go through the test. I was intending to assume if they did. And intending to air the audio I was recording of it with the iPhone. But he didn't really, he just did a light, light frisk. So I just said, okay, whatever. We all know this is going on. And, of course, they're still doing it to children. But the point is, what happened 22 years ago or so where they said DU's okay for the trips? What happened in the last decade where they just said, have the Border Patrol, have them all just stand there? I mean, before they drove the cars or 18-wheelers into a whole building, and they still have some of those. But they've now proliferated other checkpoints and units where it is a radiation spraying, super high powered x ray machine. And by the way, I've seen the newscasts and videos and photos of this. The Border Patrol aren't even wearing radiation badges, violates federal law. They're just all standing around with systems that shoot through a vehicle. Let me guess, he didn't answer on any numbers. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it right now. Watch this, because I've, I've been like, it, it, it's no big deal. He has a, like three numbers, and I have the one that works, and I, I'm re ready to give this to you uh, because uh, it, it's like Groundhog Day, but I know everything's changing up here. Everybody's doing a great job, and we'll see. He answers about 98% of the time.